Hey family, hey, it's a video day in May. Today is May the 3rd, 2016, and it is 6.33 in the p.m. And I have come on because I was reading some of you guys' emails, and I've um, ran across this email that was kind of good. It was real good. So I was like, you know what, we getting ready to read this email right quick. So I'm going to pull it up, and... Uh, we're going to do this right quick. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Okay, she goes, First off, I would like to say that I enjoy your videos. I love your hold notes back, your no holds back approach about life. I'm emailing you about some advice regarding a real situation I have going on. I am 34 years old, no kids, and I'm pretty much a single girl. However, I have gotten myself into some shit this past year. I have been seeing a guy casually for about 15 years. Well, we'll call him Mike. We've known each other since grade school, but decided to mess around when I was about 20 or so and still have a friendship to this day. We don't have sex often at all, but he's my comfy place, like an old pair of bedroom shoes. I've been wanting more from him, commitment of him to pursue more of an education, things of that sort, but he's never stepped up to the plate. Now Mike and I have a mutual friend that we'll call, just for the sake of argument, Jamal. We all went through middle school and high school together. Jamal was all, always wanted me, or at least a piece of me, since we met in middle school. However, I always liked Mike, and once Mike and I hooked up, I was always like, just put Jamal in that, it ain't happening category. Because of that fact, I was dealing with Mike. Fast forward to last summer when I needed a little something to burn to relax, and I asked Mike if he could call Jamal for me to get me a little something something. Mike blew me off and said when I call him, he don't ever answer. So I reached out to Jamal to get my own shit via Facebook. He immediately hit me back, and the rest is history. I love Mike, but he just don't do it for me anymore. He's not really motivated, and the sex that we have had, we have had is lackluster as hell. Jamal, on the other end, is married with three damn kids. Did she say married with three? She just said married with three kids. Did you hear that shit? Okay. Um, and knows how to get what he wants. I want that. I want... No, wait a minute. Hold up. I know that I have to cut things off with Jamal for obvious reasons because he's married. He's friends to someone that I've dealt with and there could never be anything between him and Mike and pretty much will kill me. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on now. I lost where I was. Okay, I done lost where I was. Basically, she was saying that, you know what I'm saying, she don't want the motherfuckers to find out about one another. Okay, so then let me go back and go down. And so she says, I have one girlfriend. Okay, I would like your honest opinion, honest feedback on what I should do. I have one girlfriend that I confide in about it, and she doesn't have a relationship with either party. My mother died when I was 17, and my grandmother not so much longer after. I just need to hear from a more experienced woman about what the fuck I'm doing. Please feel free to do a video if you choose to, or just email me back if you have the time. Thank you for your time. Girl. Girl. Okay, see, first of all, because see, we got to break these niggas in half, because it's two different ones. So, see, we got to talk about one and then talk about the other one. So, let's first, let's talk about the one that's, that you comfortable with. You really want to fuck with that nigga on the real, on the serious type of little key tip. But, however, he ain't got his shit together and you ain't trying to sign up for the motherfucking program. I got you. Okay? I got you. So, that's where it is with that. You comfortable with him. The sex is bomb. When y'all have it, I guess. But it's like, what you say, a comfortable boot or something, some old shoe or something? That's fucked up. But I can understand that you just done got comfortable. And it's like, you know what, in the beginning, 
I really wanted something with this motherfucker, but now, nigga, you ain't really trying to, you know what I'm saying, trying to elevate your game, so I'm single and all of this, so I'm not really wanting to share all my shit with you, so then therefore, what we about to do? Okay, so I'm just gonna go over here and start fucking with Philip. Wait a minute, it wasn't Philip. I don't forgot. I, I don't forgot the nigga name. It was. I don't forgot his name. What was his name? You called him. I don't know what you called him, but shit, fuck it. For the just sake of argument, hit nigga named Philip. Um, so Philip over here, but he got a wife and three chilling. You know what I'm saying? So you trying to figure out, okay, now am I gonna just keep giving this nigga some pussy on the side? You know what I'm saying? Why he's still going home with his wife and singing bedtime stories and all that old type of shit and playing Santa Claus. Am I going to continue with this part here or what the fuck am I going to do? Because my soul is fucking me up right now. You know what I mean? It's like, because I know I'm doing wrong. I see where you at with that bullshit because you're single. You ain't got no business. 34 years old? Listen. 34 years old with no responsibilities, no nothing. You done been with this motherfucker 15 years. You better get some life insurance on this motherfucker. Okay? Let me just go and say that part and quit bullshitting. Okay? You need to take care of your motherfucking business. Okay? But uh, but uh, back on this other shit. Um, uh, where I was. Oh. Oh, boy, it's Mary. Girl, uh-uh. See, because, see, look. This is the way I'm looking at it right now. You 34 years old. You don't have no responsibilities, no nothing, okay? Why sell yourself short with this motherfucker right here with a wife? Unless you cool with that, okay? Um, undoubtedly, you're not because you come in and you like, okay, well, auntie, I don't know what the fuck I should do. I know I'm doing wrong, low key. But the shit is good. and nigga, he puts in everything. I don't know what the fuck I want to do. I, can I keep him? Can I still keep both of these motherfuckers? You can't. You can't. You can't keep both of them if you really try. Okay, where, where are you trying to go? My hope is that you're trying to go up, right? So if you're trying to go up and trying to excel in this life, then therefore, you know, you're going to have to be uncomfortable to go, uh, uh, you know, to excel to another level. You're going to have to be uncomfortable. That's where growth comes from. You can't grow when you're comfortable. You know what I'm saying? So, see, you know what I'm saying? I, look, ooh, I'm having a light bulb moment right now. Yeah. Ain't that a bitch? That's one of them, bitch. Uh, do you hear what you're saying? It was one of them, okay? But still, on the interim, though, real shit. <clears throat> you ain't got no kids. You ain't got no motherfucking responsibilities. This motherfucker right here, you really want to fuck with this nigga on a whole different level, but this nigga, you ain't really trying to, you ain't really trying to sponsor this motherfucker for 15 more, basically is what you're saying. You trying to get him to go to school and all this other kind of shit. Nigga ain't really trying to do none of that. And you just kind of tired because it's like, nigga, uh, I mean, I'm cool and I'm comfortable and all that old type of shit. But, nigga, uh, I ain't going to be able to do this. Not not on no, uh, you know, and, and is, is anyone here would not like to see this happen type of shit? You know what I'm saying? Some matrimonial type shit? Man, hey, look. For some marriage shit, yeah, you better be trying to marry up. You definitely always, 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 girls, for all y'all motherfuckers that's really watching me right now, when you get married, you better fucking marry up. Don't you marry down. That's some bullshit, okay? If I can't say nothing else that makes sense on tonight. Now, I understand that I got some other shit going on, trying to get in the sun and all this other kind of old shit, but I had to come on in this bitch because I ain't been on all day. You know what I'm saying? So since I ran across that motherfucking email, I said, okay, well then let me just go on and do that. And while I'm doing that now, I'm just going to roll this all up in some other shit. But I'm just saying, though, do not fuck with these motherfuckers, especially marrying these motherfuckers that can't help your ass. Why is you marrying them for? I don't understand that shit. Fuck that. I, hey, let me keep my name. You know what I'm saying? Why the fuck is you marrying them? That ain't marriage material. You want to marry up to where your motherfucking ass can go grow old and shit together on some pension type shit. You don't want this motherfucker right here. To, hey, oh my God. Uh-oh. Look, darling. Okay. You're 34 years old. Okay. Don't sign up for this motherfucking program, baby. Now, you done already gave this motherfucker 15 15, that means you ain't really got accustomed to a whole bunch of different other types. It's, nigga, it's, they, it's other ones doing it different out here. You know what I'm saying? You don't got, you don't got accustomed to old boy, and now you done fucked around and ventured over here to this motherfucker right here that done got you bent one night 
What did he get you? Did he get you an indica or sativa? I just want to know which one did he get you? You know what I'm saying? What did you get a quarter pound? What? I don't know. Did you get an eighth? I don't know. I'm just I'm just wondering. You know what I'm saying? Since you was trying to get your smoke on that night, but I'm just saying no. And and then too, he with it too. See, that's cool as a motherfucker. You know what? That is kind of cool. When you meet somebody and you ain't got to run from the fact that you get fucked up sometimes, that's cool, man. I don't, you know, hey. Because some people just don't, you know, they ain't cool with that. You know what I mean? But for you to contact him and tell him, you know what I'm saying, I need to, you know what I'm saying, what's happening on this right here, uh, who we need to contact, uh, get it going. And then he hits you back with, okay, well, we're going to meet with so-and-so. And this right here, nigga, what, what kind, what, what you want, some chronic, some, what, some skunk? Yeah. So then, and so then, therefore, that means that he, he fully understands the language. But he married, though. Got three kids, a wife. See, that right there, I, that'll fuck my soul up. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. You know what I'm saying? Because, see, I'm going to be thinking that. What if one of these times I really find somebody that I really, really, you know, I'm just all just, you know, want to be with and all this, I'm just all in love and shit, this motherfucker be on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because now karma done came back on my motherfucking ass. Because, see, it has a way of coming back. So you can do some shit and think for one moment, shit ain't going to turn around and hit your ass, it's going to do it. Sometimes tenfold. You know what I'm saying? Keep hitting your ass until you learn the lesson. Sometimes people, people don't get it the first time. You know what I'm saying? So see, look, I got I be thinking about that kind of shit. I don't want I don't man, I like to sleep good at night, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I like intelligent home to do their job and let me rest. You know what I'm saying? I want to just rest at night. And I don't want, you know, the, the 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 that type of stuff on my spirit. You know what I mean? All in my soul that here I'm sitting up here. I you know, look. And he got little kids and sh man because, see, that's not saying that it's right or wrong, but in this day and time, it's a lot of married couples that are together because of financial obligations. They're just together because, you know, it's cheaper to do this right here. Now, you can go see who the fuck you want to see, and I don't see who I'm going to see. And from time to time, we're still going to see each other. But, you know, it, it's just going to be one of them until we, you know what I'm saying, get a better you know, higher paying job or a raise or whatever, the ways you can get your own place and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get mine. But in such a time, nigga, this is what we doing. So don't ask me no questions. You know what I mean? I understand. So then therefore, when you meet another married man like that, then therefore it's kind of not saying that it make it better, but it's like, you know, nigga, uh, not my stay, shit. Uh, I understand your soul. I done been there and done that. I understand. Look, been there. I understand my shirt. I got it on. I've been there already. You know what I mean? So then, therefore, I understand that that shit can be true. See, because, see, some people truly believe that, oh, well, nah. Oh, nah, you got to all the way get divorced. Well, see, some people can't, you know, when you got, you know, money and shit tied up and shit, motherfuckers be trying to prolong that shit. Because, see, now you got to deal with some half shit. Now you got to divide. Motherfuckers ain't ready to divide. Especially when you get to marrying up. That's why I am keep saying you fuck with marrying up. Don't marry below. Why is motherfuckers going down into the prison marrying this motherfucker because he done sent you a bomb ass letter? If you, don't, if you don't knock it off. I mean, what kind of shit is that for real? Girls, if y'all don't stop that bullshit, I'm just telling you right now, nigga. If you don't quit marrying down, the hell you marrying down for? Nigga, you supposed to marry up. Oh, my God, I can rest in his chest and know that he got me on every angle of the board. Uh-oh, he got my bills, he got my soul, he got my money, my pussy, everything. Man, I'm good. Good night. You don't want to be marrying no motherfucker whereas you got to watch this motherfucker. Why is you marrying this motherfucker if you got to doubt some shit? Oh, my God. <clears throat> anyway, um, you're 34 years old without no dependence, no nothing. Mama. Look, you need to get your freakum dress on, go on out there and go do your thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if, you know, um, how, you know, your financial situation is, but look, let me tell you something. When you got some some money, 
you supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know motherfuckers that ain't got no money that don't look all right. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers that got money, they put their money on themselves. They invest in, they, in themselves, too. Now, we're going to put some money over there. We're going to build some equity over there. Kids need braces and all that. We got that over there on that? Okay, no problem. We're going to go on and take care of that. We need uh, four new tires. No worries. But let's get that. Okay, the house needs this and that and this. We need groceries and all the bills. Okay, now, a bitch need this now. Okay? And don't say nothing. Okay, so see, I understand. So see, when yesterday I was watching, uh, <clears throat> what's her name, Jocelyn on Wendy Williams yesterday, right? And so, you know, Wendy was asking her about all her little work and shit she got done. She was like, well, Wendy, I have money. And I'm supposed to look like, I mean, what you supposed to look like? So, uh, I understand. Uh, I concur. You know what I'm saying? I mean, really, what you supposed to look like? Like, Girl, so that means, and the reason why I say that is because when you don't have no dependence and no responsibilities like that, you rolling with no ceiling. You can get a job that work all kind of crazy hours to get all this overtime. Man, if you can take a traveling job, all kinds of stuff, because you don't have nothing that's tying you down. So when you're single like that with no dependent children, oh my God, you ain't supposed to let no grass grow up under your feet, baby. You ain't supposed to let it. You done gave this man 15 of your life. 15. Which means you done missed out on a whole lot. But I, you know what, you know what, I can't, you know, I was one of them too. Because I married young, you know. I was like 20, 21 when I met Tony. You know, and after that nigga, I was like, this is it. I'm marrying up. I'm winning, yeah. Uh, and, and, and I do, yeah, one of them. Got it over with. You know what I'm saying? But when you marry up like that. And if it turn around and it, the, end, the shit end up going p kapooey, at the end, you win. <laughs> I'm just going to say that and get out of my business. You win, okay? So, but um, girl, don't, 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 uh-uh, baby. Start putting your money in you. You know what I'm saying? Don't eat your money up. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times when you're single and it's like, shit, fuck it. I don't feel like cooking shit. I can go to, I can go out to eat all the time, PF Chains and shit and all down at Row House and shit. I understand all that shit. That's some cool shit, but that's some bullshit too. You know what I'm saying? Because you eating your money up and it's like, nigga, um, after you done digest that, nigga, where the money go to? Nigga, you spent 45 and you ain't got shit to show. Nigga, if you don't knock it off. I'm going to ask that you get you some Groupon around this motherfucker. And then, therefore, set that on up with your little bank account. <clears throat> and start doing some things for yourself and start making some memories. You understand what I'm saying? And stop eating up your goddamn money. Start going and getting you some massages and going and, um, going and taking little... Um, um, dinner cruises and things of that nature. All that shit's on Groupon. You know what I'm saying? Need to get your little nails and all that old kind of shit, all that kind of shit done. All that shit's on Groupon. You're single, no dependent children, no nothing. Girl, please. Honey, I'll be the baddest motherfucker you'd ever seen. Honey, I'll be like, oh, excuse me, let this bitch through. She don't need no credentials or nothing. We don't need no idea, nothing on all that. All that, come on this way, please. Um, this is your kind of store. He's gonna take care of all your needs. Yes, excuse me. That... No dependent children, nothing. Girl, if you don't stop it, who do you think you not? Girl, oh my God, I'd be so motherfucking bad if I was you. You ain't putting no picture, no none of that shit up there. I don't need to see what you look like because I can only imagine, God damn it, and I know you bad as a motherfucker. You supposed to be. Start putting your money on this 15-year-old motherfucking nigga you done spent all this motherfucking time with and start putting some money on your ass and invest in you. And fuck all this bullshit. This nigga right here, cut off the pussy on this motherfucker because, see, he's fucking you and his wife. I just want you to know that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck what he talking about. Oh, I'm tired of this bitch right here. and She just right. I ain't had no pussy in two months. That nigga's lying to you. Okay? He's lying. And this shit's in the bed and it's hot too. Nigga, you hitting that nigga every other night. And then double back in round 3 o'clock, nigga, if you don't stop. Huh? Yeah. So, uh, anyway, um, I got all kind of shit bringing off. You know what I'm saying? That's some messenger shit right there. It goes down in the DM. Huh? All right. So, on that note, I'm going to get up out of this one. But anyway, a video a day in May. I think this was, what, number three? We going on strong. We're going to do this shit every day. Fuck it. What else we got to do? On that note, I'm out. Deuces family. Talk to you soon.